Right, hello my fellow gravy granules and, you know, foxy young stoats. This is a first impressions of Fate Extella Link. Yes, because you know the Fate uh, franchise uh, isn't as confusing as, you know, I once thought. So, um, for this I will actually be skipping all story. I'm on chapter 4. Apparently they, uh, the people who made this game, uh, you know, Marvelous and all that, are actually sort of copyright flagging people that uh, upload spoilers and stuff for this game so I will be doing uh, some of this just story I will be skipping all the event scenes not that uh, most of us will be able to understand it anyway because uh, it's all in Japanese so if you're a Japanese fan um, yes have fun so I've unlocked a few characters um, you start off with uh, Charlemagne, Nero, and uh, Tamamo no Mai. Uh, so at the moment I've unlocked Nameless, uh, Elizabeth, obviously uh, one of the uh, better characters, I think. Uh, there's Tamamo. Um, I can't remember what that character's name is, but it's a trap. It is actually a trap, which uh, disgusts me. Alfonso or something, I think they're called. I keep wanting to say she, but uh, yes, and Chu Kalein, I think that's his name. He's one of the characters I never bothered to play as in the uh, previous game. So the way they've actually done this game is a bit different in terms of the whole uh, way it's set up. So yeah, you get this area to sort of explore and your main servant uh, follows you around. Uh, so there's three facilities which you can actually just warp to. So this is sort of the uh, setup screen for your characters. Um, so we got, you know, the event scenes where they uh, talk to you. Uh, yeah, these are all the characters I've unlocked at the moment. Uh, Robin Hood, I think that is. Uh, yeah, Chukulain. Can't remember his name. But yeah, also um, in extra stories I've unlocked uh, Drake. And she's really fucking good. It's, uh, I, I do enjoy this game quite a bit. So here's another thing they've done with uh, moves. You can change these four moves you get. So this is basically R1 plus circle, triangle, square or X, uh, which I quite like. You actually get, you know, how many is that? Seven moves. So I will uh, show you those. Uh, what else? And they've kept this system in as well with all the uh, perks. So you get like, you know, bonus elemental damage for fire and stuff like that, which is, uh, you know, pretty cool. Um, you get a. Uh, well, I got another costume right off the bat somehow. I think that's because I completed a uh, extra story. Uh, yeah, you get your leveling up system, which is incredibly cheap this time, which uh, I do enjoy. Uh, yeah, that's like stats, uh, what their health and defense is. All good in the hood. Uh, voice lines. Didn't want to do that. So yeah, there's uh, quite quite a few things you can do in this, and that's your. Um, Mystic codes, so you know your a directional pad uh, buffs, as it were, and you get your item crafting system. Basically, some of this stuff is uh, remain remains from the uh, first game, although you can't sell things on mass. So I'm very sort of reluctant to sell anything in this game at the moment. It's a really fucking stupid way of doing it. And um, what was the last option? Oh yes, tutorial. So uh, currently that's my move set. I've got four charge attacks. I'm not actually sure if I get any more whilst leveling up. I presume I do. And right, let's head into the battle. Some of the screen I might have to cover over if uh, Marvelous consider it a spoiler, which would be a bit annoying, but you know I can I can live with it. Um, yes, yeah, so every stage you can in fact change character, which I do do think is pretty good. So uh, currently I will play as Elizabeth. There are 
there is another feature which I'm just trying to find. Yeah, so this is uh, the characters you can pick as um, offensive and defensive abilities. So I'm, I'm not sure what the thing for offensive abilities is, but defensive is if you like get a perfectly timed parry. Uh, Tamamo comes out and like shields you, which is uh, pretty cool. I might be able to show you it. I think if you do a certain amount of damage to an enemy character, um, Nero comes out and attacks, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've been meaning to actually swap those uh, characters over, see uh, see if any of them are different. So I do like the amount of effort they've actually put in this game compared to the first one. I I enjoyed the first game when it first came out, but fucking hell, like I, w I tried to go back and play it, and like it was it was like digital misery. It really was. Oh look, we're fighting against Lubu. Um, hopefully I shouldn't get copyright striked for this because um, I've seen people live streaming this game and they're a lot further than I am and they still have their streams up. So yes, for uh, some of the R1 abilities they are actually the, the um, attacks from the previous game, like the old charge attacks which I find pretty weird. Although I do, I do like that. I, um, it's a very sort of clever way of uh, doing it. Not that there's anything wrong with it. This is actually, if you watched one of my first videos where I spoke talking about what I wanted to see in Dinosaur Wars 9, this is actually what I said they should have done for that game. And they didn't do it. And, you know, Marvelous went and took that idea. I'm not saying I, I'm responsible for it, but they uh, went and took that idea. And uh, made a pretty fun combat system, not going to lie. Although, there is a cooldown on each of the moves, and I do find myself using them quite often. It's a bit annoying. Also in this game, for some reason, um, enemies that can use ranged attacks are like the most annoying thing in the, on the planet. See, so he'll, he'll do that, and then if you get caught in that, you can't actually block it. Which I find really stupid. So that's one of my uh, complaints at the moment. Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, all the uh, charge attacks in this game are new as far as I'm aware. And one of the things I do enjoy that they've done is they've changed the special move system, or uh, drive skills as it were. So it's, in a way I'd say it's kind of like, um, I'm trying to think of a way of putting it. So you press circle and then you can attack normally and the, your little blue bar goes down. And then whilst that happens you can press circle again at any time. And... Oh, here's Lubu. Yeah, and then you do basically a um, so, as it were, which I'm always going to uh, call them that. Um, as well as that, when you're in a drive mode, you... Uh, whenever you kill people at the end you gain things to do... Oh. Here's one of the new things, uh, weapon deadlocks, which are actually really similar to the ones in Sengoku Basara. Uh, what's I going to say? Yeah, it builds up your... Um, I can't remember what it's fucking called now. Your, your ultimate move, basically. Um, it builds up the yellow meter for that, so you can, in fact... Noble Phantasm, that's what it's called. Which I always thought was a really weird name for it. Um, I want to unlock Lubu, by the way. I've uh, been, been waiting. Also, this game is pretty uh, annoying when it comes to um, enemy units or enemy generals. They can sort of one-shot you. Which I will no doubt die in a second because of. So I'm going to actually run away from here. Oh, there's another thing to notice in this game. The uh, your main um, oh, I can't remember what they're called masters or whatever. You know, you play as the uh, the boy or the girl in the uh, first game. So in that, uh, they're considered part of the servants. In this, they're actually considered a unit. They're like your uh, camp commander. Yeah, and also they can speak. So. And there is an option to disable their chat, um, just their voice lines, if you uh, actually prefer a silent protagonist, which is 
pretty weird. You know, wouldn't it be nice if uh, Koei actually bothered with this much effort in their games? Maybe, maybe if I suck this game's dick hard enough, Marvelous won't copyright strike me. As long, well, I don't mind getting copyright strike as long as it's only you know can't monetize the video, which you know I don't do anyway. Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, in uh, in the previous game, she was one of my favorites. She, Dark Lizzie, as she called herself. I'm actually surprised in the story that she's unlocked this early on because she was basically an antagonist in the previous one. Especially in our own story with uh, Tamamo. Dark Lizzie. Do, 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 do. Apparently, there's this whole controversy about. Korean people wanting to get a character removed from one of the Fate games because it apparently promotes the, a genocide or something. I've only only seen that the other day. I was thinking, what what in the fuck are people even doing? <laughs> yes, people are absolutely nice. So in this game, it's um, as far as I'm aware, I haven't I haven't noticed it so much yet but the plant units from the first game which would basically launch enemy units into the sectors you own uh, aren't as annoying in this game or they don't even do it this time um, you did see one earlier but in the previous game they would basically as soon as you captured a thing they would try and retake it however i haven't uh, noticed them doing it so often in this or at all it might just be because i'm on you know level two or four, or whatever. Yes, also they've done the uh, cool thing of not having a linear story, so you can actually choose which uh, stages you do. Which I, I quite enjoy. It brings back memories of uh, Dynasty Warriors 4. Come on. I know what will happen in a minute, it'll just one-shot me, and it'll be annoying. I've got to say one thing I don't like at the moment is that they put a dodge on um, R2, which I think is pretty stupid. But you know that's uh, that's the way it was in the previous game because it's also you know dash, and uh, locking on doesn't actually keep the camera aimed at the enemy. You actually have to. Uh, it just literally keeps the marker on them. Oh, maybe they fixed that today then. So there was a patch today, so I think they might have uh, that might have been in that. I didn't actually read the patch notes either, so I do apologise. Uh, hopefully, we'll we we'll, we will actually unlock Lubu after this. See, he, he was pretty fun in the uh, previous game, and I did for a joke uh, add a Dinosaur Warriors voice line in that uh, gameplay when I did it the first time. Wait, there we go, he dead. Yes, uh, noble phantasms this time, like I said, activated differently, which I uh, do think is a good, a really good thing. Instead of having to collect those orange chips, which uh, they are in the game, it refills them every so often. It's not, you know, collect three parts and then you can do it. I wonder how it works with Joan of Arc, because um, in her previous one she killed herself. Shit, I didn't actually mean to do that. So if there's a weird cut there. Now the audio is going to be a bit decent. Do, do, do. I don't think I've actually seen Elizabeth's uh, Noble Phantasm. I don't think it changed from the previous game, which is good because some of them, some of them were really cool. Noble Phantasm. I think that's what it's called, anyway. He did. I do like the way the enemies just fly away like that in some sort of uh, very strange fashion. Some of the objectives, because because obviously I don't read Japanese, I don't actually understand. 
so you know not that it really matters okay so I'll show you a thing Yeah, it's exactly the same, which I I don't have a problem with. <gasps> Jesus. Yes, also you can get 2,000 kills in a relatively short time, which is, you know, funny. Right, what I presume is happening is I have to defend those two areas at the top. Arigato! Yeah, so actually, oh no, I thought uh, Tamamo was my uh, defensive support, but obviously not. Yeah, so you get the two characters that will just sort of um, help you every so often. Uh, do, 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 do. It's getting around in this game is a bit annoying. And this uh, map is an, in fact reused from the first game. Um, I should mention, don't have a problem with that. They, The way they've done the stages this time is they've given multi-layers in each of the sectors. And, you know, it looks pretty cool. Um, the graphics have been upgraded uh, massively. I don't believe it's actually as good as the first E3 no, not E3 trailer, the first trailer they did. Honestly, don't believe it's the same. Um, but, you know, um, it might be, it might just be I need to, you know, get my eyes checked. Um, what are we actually doing? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Challenge mission. Yeah, see, you can pick up the. Uh, there we go, Noble Phantasm plus 35%. Why 35? Very rude. Oh, and look, I failed the challenge mission. Some of them are really weird. But, oh, come on, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, look, somebody appeared. Do, do, do. Right, better get to it. Uh, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, hunt down Lee, Sh Lee Shuen, or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, in the first game, I didn't I didn't enjoy playing as him, but he might he might be better in this game. Um, his he was very sort of a one on one character. He's more of a boss killer, but you know. Um. There we go, he dead. Yeah, so I do hope this gets uh, local uh, English localization because it'd be pretty cool. There are some uh, characters I wanted to see in this game. Uh, Musashi mainly because uh, I always thought she looked like a pretty cool character. I'm literally just going on what character should, characters should be added based on their looks, which is, you know, a bit sad. but. Um, I'm pretty happy with the characters they did add um, from what I've played. Uh, Francis Drake is absolutely ridiculous character in this game. Um, I might try and show you her if I can. Um, so far she's only appeared as an enemy. Um, in an extra stage battle I have unlocked her. And ooh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I've unlocked her in a, like, an extra battle but not in story, which, you know, doesn't really matter. I have no idea what's actually going on with all these, like, clone things. Because obviously they're all nameless. Or whatever, what do they call him in this? No, they actually call him No Name in this game, but in English he's no, nameless. 
Also, there's another feature in this game which I don't really know what sort of the prerequisite for it is. I believe if you get them in the air with a certain combo, you can um, cause like this thing where you m attack them all the time. It's hard to hard to describe unless I sort of manage to show it. Um, try and get him. There we go. Yeah, this. Um, if there's another allied, you know, servant or playable character in the same area as you, they will actually join in on that, which is pretty cool. I believe it's shown in the uh, character trailer for Nero. Yes, battles in this game do last quite a long time now as well. Oh look, there's somebody here again. Look, I literally leave this place for two seconds and they've already managed to recap. Well, they're already trying to recapture it. What the fuck? That is some bullshit. Come on. Okay, just do it straight away. Yeah, I think with the R1 skills, because because of sort of Dynasty Warriors 9, I'm sort of conditioned to keep using them. Which gets a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. I do like how they've put a timer on each of them so you can't um, spam them over and over again. Although, I do believe the timer should be a bit longer. Uh, do, 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 nobody here. What the fuck is that? Right. Come on, I wanted I wanted this video to be only be half an hour, and yeah, I'm gonna be taking a lot longer. Except to f protect these stupid ass bases. Oh yes, yeah, so also you only get four characters for your main character name, so I had to call them Sex Grab. Okay, so they are there, then, in that, apparently in that sector. Come on. Oh, there he is. Bit weird. That's what that guy says. He's a bit weird. No, no, no. Oh, see? There's the uh, defensive support things, which I do quite think is quite cool. Also, if you get hit while using one of your R1 skills, it does actually... Um, it doesn't reset it, which, you know, is fair enough. Um, I can't think of anything else in this game. Uh... At the moment, not really. Um, from what I can see, this is this is probably going to be one of the uh, best sort of hack and slash games in a while. The only thing that sort of annoys me about this game, um, well, it's the thing they've just done with the Fate series in general, or you know, the, I just mean this and the previous game is the only thing I don't really like is the um, the way the camera is. It's sort of a bit too far out for my liking. But you know, uh, of, of a list of things that don't really matter, that's probably near the top somewhere. Yeah, see, there we got Alfonso or whatever the fuck their name is. There we go, he dead. Dark Lizzie. Oh, fucking hell. And that's my other complaint, that battles are so 
go here, do this, go here, do this. It sort of gives the illusion of freedom, which is literally what they did for Dynasty Warriors 8. Uh, I say they, I mean what Koei's done since Dynasty Warriors 8. I mean, that's a massive thing with uh, hack and slash games in general. They give the illusion of actually giving you free choice, but they don't. And and that's what that's what makes people sort of annoyed with these games. I think is the for for Dynasty Wars at least they they it's just baffling why they make things ever so linear. Oh, not again! This this is actually a fucking joke now. Like. I actually want to complete this battle, not continuously fucking having to go around looking for some absolute fucking dweeb. <sighs> this is fucking joke now. Oh, he's here somewhere. Yeah, I think for this battle they could have, you know, not made it so fucking boring. Don't get me wrong, this game's fun, but then they pull this shit like, oh, he, oh, he's con continuously gonna try and attack the base. Like, just do it once or twice, not three fucking times. I don't, I don't really get that stuff. It's like, um, when people make decisions like that. It's like, would you find it fun yourself? If the answer is no, then don't do it. It's like people when they make uh, some YouTube videos. Like, would you watch this video yourself? For my, for me, that's why uh, I'm only proud of four videos. Oh, so uh, here's Drake, who's just appeared. There she is. Gonna have to, uh... Let me guess, the battle's not actually gonna be over after this. Because... Um, it does this thing in quite a few stages where an enemy will bombard your... Uh, your camp for some reason. And then, and then they won't even be the final boss. There'll be another boss after that. They do like to drag these stages out, which... Can you blame them? Yeah, she fights with uh, dual pistols. Rider. Do, do, do. I do how, like how they gender change some of the characters, which is pretty weird. <laughs> but also quite funny. Like Francis Drake, obviously one of them. Um, who's the other one? Nero is obviously another one. That's Charles does something or other. Who just looks so fucking ugly. I bet he's not even the boss either. Uh, I did actually want to unlock, um, what's her name? Scatam or whatever. She's like a Scottish hero or something. She's uh, pretty cool. Looks pretty cool anyway. There we go. Uh, there's Drake dead. Do, do, do. So this might be the only battle I do, but um, if people want me to make another video, I uh, certainly will. Doing a gameplay of like another character. I, mean, I might do all the new characters. The characters I uh, actually think are good. I still cannot remember what that guy's name is, but apparently he's supposed to be really powerful in the first game. Uh, I cannot remember his name. Oh well, somebody, somebody will put it in the comments anyway. Always will be. It just looks like a five year old though. That's that's the other thing. Yes, there's one of the other new characters whose eyes are, you know, 90 degrees for, um, looking, looking away. Mind you, I used to have a teacher that used to have a lazy eye. 
So when so when he used to shout at you, you'd be like, "Sorry, you're talking to me." <laughs> do do do. There we go. There's another one of those things. I uh, still can't actually use my Noble Phantasm, which is a bit annoying. Don't even think he's going to be the boss, yeah. A bit annoying. Oh, well. Yeah, install skills as well. Seem to get those in about, I don't know, 20 to 30 a stage. They, uh, they don't... Don't, uh... Don't really care about handing them out. <laughs> Oh look, it's Kana again. Well, I think that's his name anyway. Do do do. Come on. It takes so long to get anywhere. Yes, skip that shit. Do, 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 do. Right, go here, immediately use it on him. Also, a good thing is you can actually skip these, which I will show you. I, can you do that in the first game? I think you can, can't you? Also, there was a previous stage where um, I encountered this guy and he one-shotted one me, which is like really stupid. Obviously, close the application after that, after, you know, peons die in one hit. Oh, don't tell me there's going to be another one. Oh, I think his name's Carwin, Cowin, something like that. That guy. Uh, I always thought he runs around really weird. I'm not sure what's weirder, him and his sword stance, or, you know, the Naginata from Hyrule Warriors. Oh, look at that, another character. They just, they love to drag out these stages. They really do. That's that's sort of my main complaint with this game, is just how they drag everything fucking out. Also, as soon as you go here, they will actually stop, you know, trying to go to uh, your other sectors. Do, do, do. Yeah, so so far my uh, main um, the main things I enjoy about this game are you know the co the combat system they changed it for the for the better. Um, it does keep it kind of fresh. It gives you lots of moves to uh, use all the time. Uh, the, w the way the game looks is very nice, it's it's certainly um, a lot more enjoyable than, you know, looking at the previous game which was pretty ugly, I'm not gonna lie, um, especially if you go back to it now. Well, that being said, when I first played it, I did think it was pretty good, I think it looked alright. Yes, uh, so my main complaints are that the way they drag out some of the stages, but then if you're in for sort of mindless hack and slash, then that shouldn't really be a problem for you. Um, I do do think some of the uh, linearity of it is a bit annoying as well, in terms of you have to go here and do this, and uh, otherwise you can't progress. Um, I haven't had that too often though, so it might just be... I don't even know what I'm talking about sometimes. And he's dead, there we go, another stage done. A stage done even. See that was like, what, like half an hour for this? What in the hell? Sucks your dick and calls you gay. <laughs> do do do. Also there's this really annoying thing at the bottom where it tells you what's, um... What the hell? I took 292% damage. 
Okay then. Yes, it gives you uh, lots of install skills. Oh, failed. Oh, failed again. Yeah, there's always these messages at the bottom which tells you what's, what the background music is. Like, I don't care. No, I mean, I honestly don't care. Oh, there's also this which will tell you... Um, basically, at the end of each thing, it will tell you uh, which stage route you want to take. But sometimes um, it actually depends if you've done like the previous ones or not. I uh, believe that's cloud save, but whatever. Tempted to get the Vita version to see what that's like. Ooh, level 14, 19. Very nice. So you can actually go back and choose any of these, which is, you know, quite nice. I uh, I believe I did that one first and then I've got that one. Um, I just want to see what characters I've unlocked. Probably be a spoiler though. Skip this. Skip it. Come on. Uh, where am I going? No, it's not that one. It's. I haven't unlocked anybody. Annoying. Annoying. Oh well, I'm, I'm sure I'll live. So yes, thank you very much for watching. If you did, I might do some character gameplay videos in the week uh, with commentary or whatever. I might just um, do, do a short video on showing all moves they get if, uh, if I unlock them all, that is. So yes, um, thank you very much for watching. If you did, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.